Welcome to the chapter Bigger Numbers. This slide represents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Understand the concept of the highest among the bigger numbers Comparison of the bigger numbers Discuss the hundred number table Illustrate the expanding of numbers Know how to add and subtract the bigger numbers Discuss the concept of the highest and the lowest In lower classes, we studied about the numbers, counting, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and so on. Do you know what are the big numbers? Let us try to learn about the big numbers in this chapter. Let us observe the scenario about bigger numbers. On a sunny day, Rohan and his friends went out on a vacation. They all planned to go to a beach. All were playing individually. But Ravi was not so happy. This was identified by Raju who walked towards Ravi. Hey Ravi, why are you so dull? No, I am not so happy with this kind of playing. We all will have a bet of counting the tides coming from the sea. All gather around Ravi. Wow, that's a great idea. Come on, let's all play together then. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's play. Here, the table shows the number of tides that has been counted by Rohan and his friends. By seeing the table, we can easily identify who has counted more, that is, obviously Shalini. Let us do an activity on bigger numbers from the data given. The 100 number table. Let us look at the 100 number table. The table display the numbers between 1 to 100. If we pay attention towards any row of the table, we can surely identify that there is only a difference of one number between any two consecutive numbers. And also, if we closely observe any column of the table, we can know that there is a difference of 10 numbers between any two consecutive numbers. Now, we see a curious relationship among the numbers in the table. Observe the highlighted box. We have considered a number 67 and it is surrounded by some numbers. Let us see the relation between the numbers. Here, the numbers to the left and right of 67 are 66 and 68. This could be identified by adding and subtracting of 1. Hence, in the same pattern, the other numbers could be identified by adding and subtracting of 9 and 11 and 10 respectively. Now, we see a curious relationship among the numbers in the table. 
Fill the missing numbers in the boxes provided below. Comparing bigger numbers. Here we are going to see the conversation on bigger numbers. One day, Lavanya and Sujata decided to play a game on comparing bigger numbers. They started playing. Hey Sujita, see, my number is greater than your number. Is it so? Then see my number. It is bigger than your number. Ha ha ha. Hmm, yeah, your number is big. Let me try to arrange the number as big as yours. Yeah, give it a try. See now, I have got a bigger number than yours. Can you arrange your numbers as big as mine? Hmm, let me try. See what I got. Is this number as big as yours? No. Oh, I can't make it happen. Hmm, you can't. Because I have got the biggest number 7 of all the numbers. Yeah, you are absolutely right, Lavanya. I agree with you. Okay, thank you. Let us recall the expanding of the numbers. A phone cost around rupees 5000. A wallet cost around rupees 800. A pen cost around rupees 20. A chocolate cost rupees 1. If we add all the cost, we can get the number 5821. This indicates that 5 is in thousands place, 8 is in hundreds place, 2 is in 10's place and 1 is in 1's place. Let us do a simple activity to find the greatest and the smallest numbers and the place values of a number. Now, we are going to learn about the concept of arranging the numbers from the highest to the lowest in an order. The longest rivers. The table displays the distance of the river flow from place to place. Let us try to arrange the distance of each river from the highest to the lowest order. This can be done by comparing the place values of the digits with the place value of the other numbers. By observing the above table, we can say that the longest flowing river is Krishna, that is 7598 meters, and the shortest flowing river is Yamuna, that is 7123 meters. Note, these are only the assumed numbers, not the exact numbers. Let us see how the bigger numbers are added and subtracted. Observe the numbers shown on the screen. When we add 7 and 3, we get the number 10. Here, 0 is in 1's place and 1 is in 10's place. So, 1 is to be carried over to the next column and to be added along with the numbers existing in that column. In the same way, the next numbers are also to be added. Hence, we get the result as shown on the screen. Observe the numbers shown on the screen.
we cannot subtract 3 from 7. Hence, we borrow 1 from the previous column and add it to the 3 to make the number 13. Now, if we subtract 7 from 13, we get 6. In the second column, now we will be having 1 instead of 2 because we have to borrow 1 over there. Now, we try to subtract from the existing number that is 1. Here also, we repeat the same as we did earlier to do subtraction. We see the result as shown. Here, we have the list of red and black color cars of different brands in an automobile company. Let us do an activity on addition and subtraction by estimating the nearest values. Let us solve a few exercise problems. Click the tab to view solution. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answer. Summary. Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. We have learnt the concept of the highest and the lowest among the bigger numbers and also their comparison. We have discussed the hundred number table. We have studied how to add and subtract the bigger numbers and their expansion form. We have also seen some activities on bigger numbers, hundred number table, addition and subtraction, etc. Follow up work. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test.
you have successfully completed the chapter bigger numbers